Hi, this is Congressman Tom Cole, and this is another one of our Congressional Weekly Chats. Uh, this has been an eventful week, uh, and uh, it's still not over, so uh, some of what I report may not be, uh, uh, or may be overtaken by events. Um, on Congress, we've had a lot of uh, activity, a lot of action, uh, a lot of motion, but not enough movement. Uh, frankly, uh, uh, Congress remains deadlocked on another coronavirus relief bill. That's extraordinarily unfortunate. Uh, Democrats remain wedded to their own partisan bill. Uh, they actually brought it to the floor on Thursday. It uh, didn't receive a single Republican vote and only passed by seven votes. 17 Democrats uh, actually chose not to vote for Speaker Pelosi's bill because they knew it was so partisan that it would never be taken up by the Senate, never be signed by the President. And there are talks that still continue between Secretary of the Treasury Mnuchin and Speaker Pelosi. Uh, I hope for a breakthrough, but frankly, as each day passes, I've become uh, increasingly concerned that uh, we're not going to get to a deal. And that's too bad. Uh, the two sides agree on so many things. If Speaker Pelosi would bring uh, the personal uh, paycheck protection uh, uh, legislation floor that has supported millions of jobs, saved tens of thousands of small businesses, it would pass overwhelmingly. If she brought the 105 a billion dollars to the floor to help schools reopen, it would pass overwhelmingly. If she brought the one-time payment of uh, $1,200 per adult per household and $500 per child, uh, similar to what we did in the, uh, the so-called CARES Act, that too would pass and would pass the Senate and be signed by the president. The president has offered to sign uh, a bill of up to one and a half trillion dollars as long as it didn't have a lot of unrelated policy matters. Uh, the speaker has remained stuck at 2.2 trillion uh, and insistent on a lot of uh, measures that simply can't pass on their own. She's just trying to load them into this bill. Uh, I don't, honestly begin to wonder whether or not she actually wants a deal. Uh, I think she's worried about giving the president an accomplishment on the eve of the election. But everyone agrees there needs to be another round of stimulus. There's uh, some disagreement about the amount of money or the ways to do it. That's fair enough. But these things could be negotiated out if people approached them in goodwill. Again, the president has moved uh, toward the speaker. That is, he's moved from a trillion dollars where the Republicans in the Senate were to 1.5. He's agreed with her that there needs to be some money for state and local and tribal governments. Uh, he's agreed on a school opening number. He's agreed on, again, the one-time distribution. Uh, there's no real disagreement between the two sides on providing uh, more money and uh, more flexibility for a paycheck protection program. Uh, frankly, we have $130 billion plus that we haven't spent yet that's available, except uh, we ran out of the authority to spend it yesterday. Republicans actually uh, are, have tried to put that measure on the floor. We've gotten some Democratic support, but too many Democrats, again, remain uh, wedded to uh, Speaker Pelosi, who frankly clearly doesn't want a deal and is not willing to negotiate in good faith. And that's too bad. You know, uh, Congress uh, put together four coronavirus relief bills in a period of about 10 or 12 weeks. Uh, they totaled over $3 trillion between them. Uh, they were very successful in limiting the damage to the economy and helping us come back, helping millions of our fellow Americans. Um, presidents offered again to continue uh, additional relief for those unemployed through no fault of their own, $400 a week on top of their normal unemployment. That hasn't been acceptable to Speaker Pelosi. She's demanding uh, 600. Uh, the president actually moved from an initial number to 200 to 400 in an effort to try and work, uh, uh, work with the speaker. Uh, she's refused to budge. And just as she's refused to budge on most of the other items that are unrelated to coronavirus relief inside her package. So, it's uh, Friday morning. Uh, you never know, something might happen. Uh, and uh, there, are, there are talks continuing. Uh, there are also the possibility that Congress could uh, be gone for the weekend, could be called into session next week. Certainly, I would come back and uh, uh, support a bipartisan package. But uh, um, I'm sad to report right now we're just not getting the kind of, uh, kind of support uh, and uh, activity out of speaker. Uh, that we need. You know, honestly, leaders need to lead. And uh, I think in this situation, uh, uh, Republicans in the Senate and, and the President have been willing to move, uh, but we just haven't gotten much cooperation uh, from the Speaker. I hope that changes, but right now I don't have much expectation 
uh, that it will. Uh, so we're going to keep working at it. Uh, we'll see what happens uh, the rest of the day. And uh, uh, just uh, remember uh, to end on a little, uh, oh, let me bring up one other. It's Friday morning. And of course, we just learned that the president and the first lady uh, have uh, uh, been infected by coronavirus. And so our thoughts and prayers certainly go out to them. Uh, I know all of us, regardless of uh, the, your political party or political opinion, uh, wish anyone who's ill the very, very best. Uh, so far, we see no symptoms in the president. That is, uh, he's in good spirits and uh, active. Uh, certainly no concerns at this point that he would not be able to discharge his duties. Uh, but he's doing the appropriate thing. Um, you know, having uh, had to quarantine myself, not because I was infected, but because I was uh, exposed, I understand how frustrating it is, but it's the right thing to do. You have to protect other people. I'm proud the president's doing that. We'll keep you posted on his health, uh, although I'm sure you'll, uh, you'll be hearing uh, many, many accounts of that. And uh, hopefully things uh, work out well there and uh, uh, he and the first lady show no symptoms. Uh, and are able to get about their business as quickly as uh, the medical professionals tell them that they can. So with that, uh, it's a reminder, be cautious. Uh, please wear your mask. Uh, please uh, keep socially distanced. Uh, please make sure you wash your hands on a regular basis. Um, do what your health care professionals tell you to do. And also know that we're not very far away from a vaccine, uh, but you're going to have to continue these measures for a while. Uh, so I hope you do, and I wish uh, God's uh, protection to you and your family. Uh, good luck in all things, and I look forward to visiting with you again in the near future.